In this next video, we're gonna be talking about headers and footers and the different types of things that you can do with headers and footers. Now we've talked about in the in previous videos, what is a header, what is a footer, and how to apply the simple syntax for a header and a footer inside of a jQuery mobile page. Now we're gonna talk about adding buttons, uh, theming the different headers and footers, adding group buttons, and doing different elements like that. So let's go ahead and go into our jQuery mobile code and let's start out with a header here. Now we see the div data dash data role equals header, and now we have an h1 tag inside of there. Well, if I start adding some more contents, let's just go ahead and add like a p tag. Let me delete that uh, regular tag here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this you'll notice I can actually add additional contents inside of my header. Now it'll just make my header a lot bigger, but that is the option, that is an optional item there. So if I wanted to have a header with more contents and stretch out my header a little bit more, I can. I don't recommend that, but you can add other stuff like uh, you can add buttons that will take either the left-hand side or the right-hand side, and we'll talk about that here in a second. But the first thing I wanna do is add a data-theme. So if I want my header to be a certain theme, all I would have to do is add data dash theme equals, and then within the quotes, just go ahead and enter in the letter B. It is defaulted already to letter A, but that's how we uh, enter in the letter B, and now it has the B theme applied to that header only. We can do the same thing with the footer. Now, we've talked about that in the past before, so I'm not going to focus on that a lot right now. However, if I wanted to, I can also add buttons inside of my header. So I'm going to take away my theme and just keep it as a regular content for now. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to add a button. Now we learned about a button in the previous video. And so we're just going to have in this case just have a, a hashtag because I don't know exactly where it's going to go yet. And I'm going to add a class of let's go equals quotes and then we're going to add a class of UI dash BTN which is how we establish the button. Well, I'm going to have this uh, be an options button. So I'm going to, it's going to, when they click on it, it's going to take them to an options page. And there's a couple other things that I want to do. I want to make sure that this does not stretch out. So I'm going to say UI dash BTN because by default buttons are, um, they automatically take the, the whole width of the screen area. So I'm going to say UTN or UI dot BTN slash or dash inline. And then I'm going to define where that uh, we're going to define an icon. So I'm going to say UI dash BTN dash icon dash right. We're going to have the icon on the right. I'm going to define what icon it is. So I'm going to say UI dash icon dash gear. We're going to use the gear icon, which is kind of like uh, options. So we have the gear icon, and now we're going to say. Uh, one more thing is we're going to define inside of the uh, the header what's, uh, what's alignment it needs to be. If I want this on the left, let me go ahead and just save this, and you'll notice it automatically gets positioned on the left. Well, if I want this on the right, I'm going to go ahead and just say data, actually UI, dash BTN, dash R-I-G-H-T, right. So that way, if I hit, now hit refresh, it's now taken my button and it's actually positioned my button um, over on the right hand side. Now let's go let's go ahead and add no text to, to this button. Let's say just, we just want an item around that. So I'm going to go ahead and say UI dash BTN dash icon dash no text. And no matter if I have text inside of there, which I may want to just keep that there just as a description, but if I don't have any text inside of there, now it gets rid of the text and I just have an icon. If I wanted that to be the icon itself, I can do that. A couple more things just to kind of visually make it look nice. I'm going to go ahead and just add a UI dash shadow on the button so it pops out a little bit more. So we have our shadow here. And then I'm going to say UI dash corner dash all. And that way we have uh, a little rounded corner, or it looks like a circle now, basically, um, that goes around. Well, if I wanted to get rid of this outline, and I wanted to have that completely gone, 
Well, I can add my button inside of another div tag. So I'm going to say div. And so let's go ahead and take the end of this div tag and place it at the end of the button. Let me add a tab just to make it look a little cleaner here. And I'm going to say class equals on this div tag. And I'm going to say UI dash no disk dash icon. And that will actually get rid of the icon itself. Now, if I want to, I may want to add, you can see that the white has kind of gone away a little bit, or that dark area has kind of gone away. Um, and so I may want to add a theme to that so it stands out a little bit more. So let's go ahead and add a theme. UI-theme-a, let's do B actually, B. And then at the end of that, like we learned in our last video, data-theme equals B. What I actually missed was that instead of UI theme, I'm actually doing UI BTN dash A or dash B. And then the data theme is right here. So I messed that up a little bit. So let's go ahead and just preview this now. And you'll notice, go ahead and hide that uh, simulator. But you notice now the B theme has been applied to this. And so we don't have that little outline. We have just the um, just the actual theme itself, so there's no disk is what they call it around that. Um, now, if I wanted to, any button that I actually apply inside of this div tag, so if I wanted to have more than one icon, let's just call this uh, instead, let's go ahead and add instead of a, a gear icon, let's go ahead and change it to a right icon. So I'm looking for the gear, there we go. And I'm gonna just change this to right. And now, Actually, let's change that to back. There we go. So now it has a back icon there. And we're going to change this from um, the right position to left. Now we have our gear icon on the right and we have our back icon on the left. Let's go ahead and change that one to instead of a class A or sorry, class B to a class A. Now hit save and you'll notice it's now changed over to a class A. Now it does have a white icon still. I can change that if I want to, but I think it looks nicer inside of the B class. And so let me go ahead and change it back to B. Now that stands out a little bit more. So that's how you add buttons to your header. Now you can do the same thing with your footer. 